Pokemon Horizons Episode 60 just aired and you're probably wondering where the heck I've been. I didn't manage to review the previous episode because life has been really crazy and hectic and busy, but basically in the episode Dot had her gym battle against Larry and although she lost the battle she still passed the test. And her Quaxley evolved too. But now let's talk about this week's new episode. In the episode, Liko, Roy, Dot and their Pokemon changed into winter clothes, which really suit them amazingly by the way, and they begin their Sinoe journey to Montanavera for Roy's gym battle against Rhyme. Dude, that gym battle is gonna be amazing! I really hope Roy and Rhyme get into like a sing-off, rap-off mid-battle, that'd be so funny. So the whole gang has fun playing in the snow and on the ice while travelling, and it's really 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 sweet to see the characters enjoying themselves. Then they encounter a Bergmite and the Pokedex tells them that Bergmite are natural enemies of Frigibax, so Bergmite and Frigibax always fight each other. And then, hilariously, some snow from the trees above falls onto Fuecoco, making him resemble a Frigibax, just as a real Frigibax arrives beside him. A massive fight ensues, the cutest fight of all time, and even Quaxwell can't stop them. Luckily then, Hatrem beats them to a pulp before healing them afterwards. That really seems to be Hatrem's special talent, man. Beating up and then healing. Even Liko acknowledges it. Later on, Roy and Fuecoco get attacked by a bear tick, so they flee to a nearby cabin to hide and rest, and Roy and Fuecoco reminisce on old memories together before setting off into the forest to find fire. Firewood. However, things very quickly go south because Fuecoco gets lost in the forest, separated from Roy, as the blizzard gets worse and worse. Man, this is really feeling like when Ash went missing in the blizzard in the forest in Snowbell City. So, Roy, just like Serena did, goes out at his own risk, desperately trying to find Fuecoco. Roy is screaming out Fuecoco's name emotionally and frantically searching until nightfall. Meanwhile, Fuecoco is panicking and nearly crying because he's lost and can't find his way back, and his stomach is growling too, he's really 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 hungry. Bro, this scene feels so heavy, so desperate, you know? Roy and Fuecoco really didn't realise how much they love each other and rely on each other until right now. After some more searching, Roy is nearly in tears, he's really overwhelmed, but he musters up the courage to begin singing Fuecoco's song out loud, hoping it'll energise himself and help him find Fuecoco. And miles away, Fuecoco begins doing the same thing, singing his song, the same song as Roy, because it reminds him of Roy. Eventually, Roy and Fuecoco begin hearing each other singing, so they frantically dash towards each other and see each other, and they launch in the air and hug each other in the sweetest embrace ever. They're both so happy and ecstatic and exhilarated, and they're both claiming that their song truly is unbeatable, because it brought them together again. Later on, Roy and Fuecoco return to the cabin after another encounter with the wild Pokemon in the forest, and their bond is stronger and closer than ever before, and that's where the episode ended. Honestly dude, I'm not gonna lie, this episode nearly brought me to tears. I felt my eyes welling up a little bit, you know? I don't know if I'm exaggerating or whether I'm just really emotional lately, but it got to me, man. Seeing Roy and Fuecoco, the characters who are always so happy and energetic and hopeful and positive, now both being so alone in the dark in the middle of the blizzard, lost, hungry, scared, worried about each other, it was just so upsetting, man. It really got to me, you know? Seeing how hard Roy was fighting to find Fuecoco again, seeing Fuecoco longing for Roy. Man, all of that on top of the really, really, really emotional, sombre music. That whole sequence just hit me in my feels, you know? This episode was perfect, it was wonderful. I loved seeing the characters having fun in the snow playing together, and what I loved most is how the episode really emphasised the importance of Roy and Fuecoco's bond and their song, and I'm guessing that's probably to set up their bond and the song, making Fuecoco a Evolve in his battle against Rhyme. There's a lot of support for that theory, so I think it's gonna happen, dude. The only thing this episode was missing for me was the unparalleled, the unsurpassed, the unequaled, the unmatched, the unrivalable, the unbelievable, the extraordinary aura of the one and only Quaxley. But unfortunately, that's gonna be a loss this felt for every episode for the rest of the series. Long live the King Quax. Let me know your thoughts on the episode below, I really hope you loved it as much as I did, and of course, best wishes until we meet again.